Hi you guys, this is Artesia with My Unique Braids and My Unique Styles. I am reviewing this hair and doing a tutorial on customizing this lace front. I know I usually customize it, but I'm going to be going through step by step with you. For this hair, it is called Salik, I think, Slick, I believe, and I got it from Amazon um, for $120. It's a 14 inch and I felt that it was it resembled my hair. It's like an afro kinky curly texture. I would say that it is a 4A, um, not necessarily really a 3C, but I think it's more of a 4A because it gets super tight at the end as well um, to a 4C. So here is the lace, you guys. It's a 13 by six lace and it has combs. It comes with combs. And it also comes with the elastic in the back as well as you can tighten. But nobody really cares and uses that. I don't know anybody that uses that. I just usually cut it off. But here is my brush I got from Amazon as well. It's my Diamond Rhinestone brush. But I'm just going to be combing it out just to make it so you guys see what it looks like as an afro. It gets super huge. It's 150 density for the lace wig you guys and when I tell you this hair is soft there was no shedding when I was combing it out there was hardly any hair I don't think it was a lot coming out which is a good thing now I will say you guys this hair smelled really bad when you first get it like it smelled really permish um, so here's the step you guys first step that I usually do as you can see, here's the hair around. Um, the hairline that came pre-plucked, which is good, but you know, I always have to go in and pluck it some more to get it natural to how my hairline is. But here's the pre-pluck, it looks super natural. You guys don't have to do what I'm doing, but this is just something that's optional for me. So as you guys can see, I usually just hold the hair back and I just start plucking so I could see where I should start plucking. So I just pluck the front first hairline part um, just to make sure that everything is a little bit lighter. You want it like an ombre effect, but it's in hair. So you want it kind of like light all the way to dark. So basically this is kind of reassuring that once if I go in the behind the hairline and I pluck it, then it reassures that I can get that Aubrey effect. It's like a fade when you start cutting a guy's hair or a woman's hair. Um, you do a fade. That's the whole reason of a fade. So here it is the results where I'm just kind of plucking and I'm just going to continue on and do, to do that. As you guys could see here, oh my god, you guys, these curls are so beautiful. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's super beautiful. Like, it's not too tight and it's not too loose. Like, when I tell you, I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. Like, this hairline, it just, it just resembled my hair so much, you guys. And I just love it. And as you can see here, the hair is super soft. So what I did was actually use a blow dry, and this is good to just dry the hair. Um, it took me only 10 minutes, and also I got these elastic bands also as well from Amazon. You can tighten them. The reason why I like these better than the, the hook ones is because this you can actually adjust with, and I'll put the link down in below. So you guys, I do my airbrush thing. Y'all know I gotta do it because it really it looks so real when I do the airbrush. And basically, I just you know pat it around after spraying, and then I get the hairspray. It holds it in, and then I blow dry it. So here is the wig grip that I have. I never used this before, but this is my first time. But we'll see how it goes and everything like that. I'll put the elastic band with the whip grip and oh my god y'all, it looks so pretty. I just like the way the curls look curly at the root. That is very natural to me and I love hair or wigs that resemble that instead of straight and then curly. But this right here is curly all the way through and root to the end and I love that.
so as you guys can see i zigzag it um i don't know why they want me to zigzag I, i've seen where zigzag but it does work i usually do also straight cut but in this sense i do zigzag when it's curly for some reason it just matches the hairline with my hairline i don't know why it just it just works usually straight uh, cuts I usually do it with keeping straight or straighter wigs I don't know why it's just that's just the preference that I do but I do zigzag with this one so as you can see I did not cut the end of the earlobes because I want the full effect of the hairline all the way to the like to the back of the sideburns so I did not cut like I usually do so pretty much what i did you guys was that i kind of like i'm just playing around with it and i'll let you guys see, see the rest So I'm very impressed, you guys, of this hair. And here it is when it's low-key dry slash wet. But um, it does get big, actually, when it's dry. And here's the hairline process that I did. It looks so natural and so real. I love this hair. You guys, comment, like, and tell me what you think of this hair. Please subscribe to my channel. I have more videos to come. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.